So the center of the digital world is the web. I mean, whether you're interfacing with your cell phone or wherever, everything eventually leads back to the web. Uh, and so today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, understanding the trends going on in the web and also how does it work. Uh, but it's still the core of your universe and it's and what it comes down to is it helps you drive traffic, engage your customer, engage them. Uh, when they actually leave your website, how do you continue uh, to communicate and have contact with them? Now, this is my uh, inbox for my personal mail. Just by looking at this, what can you learn? Well, looks like Dr. Cho was looking at computers. Um, He's an MIT alumni. Let's see what else. Um, gee, he had the National Science Foundation and stuff like that here. He buys from Ikea. Uh, Starlight Pines, if I looked it up, I would find out that that's up in Happy Jack. He has other plays here. Uh, somebody's asking him help with uh, his marketing. And uh, so... All of a sudden, just by looking at my inbox alone, you've learned all this stuff about me. Now think about when you go out there, every time you touch something out on the web, you've left a fingerprint. And they follow that fingerprint back to you. Uh, in terms of digital formats, they're display ads, search, email. Uh, and these are the things that were actually on the list uh, when we talked last time. And so, again, this is from the last lecture. Yeah, I know, I repeat things, but there is new data here. And that's the digital ad spending has now hit $83 billion a year. Mobile is at $50 billion. And TV is at $77 billion. And so what it comes down to is when we look at the top five companies, the two biggest uh, uh, dominators on the street are pretty much Google and Facebook. They have the lion's share of what's going on. Yes, in the aggregate, all the other companies make up at least half. But again, you're talking about really small firms also. Uh, when we look at uh, display ads, we see that how Facebook is doing well, especially in terms of uh, mobile. Uh, the, Again, here are more percentages and more data about it, where Facebook has a huge lead over Google right now. Um, but by the same hand, not only that, but video ads are growing at a big rate. And so it's like video <laughs> is replacing images, so is someday is AR going to replace video? But what it comes down to is it's still about distribution, portals. How do I touch the customer? Still stands. Uh, the thing about mobile phones is that it gives you constant access. Uh, some of the limits, is, again, is about technology, and that's that like you can only see so much. Uh, the thing is, more people spend more time on apps than they do on search sites. Uh, we tend to be a lot more impatient with our mobile devices than we are for laptops. If the thing hangs up for five seconds, we have a tendency to give up. But when you look at Facebook's growth, where is it coming from? Mobile ads. Uh, who's the champs? Who do we spend the most time with? Well, Facebook has one billion visitors a day. YouTube is the king. Five billion videos a day. Not only that, but in YouTube, they have the second largest search engine in the world after Google. Oh, and who owns YouTube? Google. Um, Google has three and a half billion searches per day and Twitter has 500 million users per month. Uh, why are Apple and Google investing in self-drivable cars? Apple got out, now they're back in again. Why do people care about home automation? And essentially, what's going on with Microsoft? Um, are they still relevant? Well, the thing about all of these is what's going on is everybody's fighting to get your attention. A 
chunk of your time. What has Microsoft decided? Look, yeah, they have Xbox. They're not going away from that. But they realize that outside of the work hours, Microsoft really doesn't get your time. That's why they bought LinkedIn. That's why they went to the cloud. They decided, look, the one thing we do better than Facebook is we understand the business user. And so they got away from that and let Facebook and Google to duke it out for commercial. Microsoft is going to focus on businesses. Uh, when we look at the digital advertising market, uh, it's just going to continue to grow and grow. I think this year it finally broke even with TV. And so now TV is no longer going to be the number one uh, medium channel. When we look at how people spend their time in a day, this is what they're trying to fight for. Although, in all honesty, I would adore it if I could get 7.7 .7 hours sleep a day. <laughs> Dr. Cho typically gets six. The thing you find is that there's a, there's a rapid learning curve in digital, too. The tools are so easy, everything's so easy, that one, once you start getting leads, you see the cost of those leads drop down very, very rapidly. Um, the web focus, what are the functions of the web? And that's that you're using it to listen socially, you want to do analysis, you want to do prediction, and also you want to provide customer service. That's what you do. And so what does this all impact? My profitability, how I get customer loyalty, my brand, and everything else. And you can just read the laundry list. Uh, but you get the basic idea. And so my data is either coming from inbound marketing or outbound marketing. The thing is, do I own the data or do I have third parties do it for me? Uh, is my generation, you can buy lists of people. Or do I want to create it organically? And then the other issue is, uh, do I want to own everything myself or do I want to do this with other people and share the data? Again. It's your choice, and these are the questions that you have to deal with. Um, what it all comes down to is, what is my business intelligence? How do I view it? Uh, how do I implement it? And, ha and how will I use it? How am I going to apply it? Uh, and so once again, I keep talking about your creativity, your ability to use it. Um, in terms of tooling, how usable is it going to be? The thing about search engine op optimization is what it comes down to is that a bunch of searches are done. They find matches and they rank them. Hundreds of factors go into this. The thing is search engines only parse certain information. And this is where your domains need to be clean. You can't have big, long, convoluted names or something like that. By the same token, you also need a certain degree of specificity specificity Ooh. Um, because if your website is food.com you know it's like who's gonna find you um, the thing is the way the whole web works is so we have these addresses called URLs and what happens is there's something called a crawler that goes out there and it starts cataloging all these different places so how does this crawler basically find me well, a lot depends on how much activity I have, how often it's referenced. That gains attention, and then it goes into something called an indexer. And the search engine looks at the indexer, which is just like a Rolodex, to find you when you do a search. Um, so what it comes down to is you have to be active. And active is about linking, how many visits you get, uh, links to you, how they respond to. And so what it comes down to is your tags and keywords. Uh, the one thing you see is that depending on what kind of search you do, different things come up for me.